Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the number of islands problem. Given a 2D grid map of 1's land and 0's water, count the number of islands. An island is surrounded by water and is formed by connecting adjacent lands horizontally or vertically. You may assume all four edges of the grid are all surrounded by water. So here they give you two examples. In example 1, this is the input. As you can see, the input is a two-dimensional array of characters. So, you have two characters, one and zero. One represents land, zero represents water. And the output of this method is one, because there is only one island. And all these ones that you see here, all these ones are one island. They form one island. Why? Because you can see that they are connected horizontally or adjacent or vertically. So this one is connected vertically to this one and these ones are connected horizontally and these are connected vertically and these are connected vertically. So as you can see this is one island so the output is one. In this case in example two the output is three because there are three islands. This is one island this is one island and this is one island because these two are connected horizontally and this one is not connected vertically or horizontally to any other one so that's one island and this here forms one island because this is connected vertically to this one and this horizontally to this one and this vertically so that it forms one island so how can we solve this problem? well we can solve it in two ways using breadth search or using the first search because we have to traverse the 2D grid and we can traverse the grid in those two ways using recursion, the first search or using a queue and iteration, breadth first search so this is a reachability problem in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve it recursively so we're going to use the first search so without further ado I'm going to show you how to write the code First, I'm going to check if grid equals equals null or grid dot length equals equals zero or grid sub zero dot length equals equals zero, I just return zero. Because if the reference is null or either dimension is zero, then the number of islands is zero. There's no island then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have a few variables here integer m gets a value of grid dot length for the number of rows n gets a value of grid sub zero dot length for the number of columns and the final result which is the number of islands initialized to zero at the end of everything I will return the number of islands which is the final result so I need to traverse the 2D grid and from every possible position I want to check if I can continue traversing from that position in all four directions up, down, left and right and I will increment the final count the number of islands if I was able to if I was able to traverse that so I will mark if I have traversed that position before so I need a two-dimensional array of booleans to do that. So I'm going to have a two-dimensional array of booleans. I will call this visitor. Because the value of new two-dimensional array of booleans, it has m rows and n columns. So it has the same number of rows and columns as the grid. And this will allow me to mark if I have visited a point in the grid before. So then I will start a traversal. So I will say for integer i gets a value of 0, i is less than the number of rows plus plus i. Then I will say for integer j gets a value of 0, j is less than the number of columns plus plus j. Alright, so I will do one check here. As I'm traversing the grid, I will check the following. If grid sub i sub j equals equals a zero 
that means that this is water so this is no island this is not an island so I can skip I can skip it I can skip this iteration or if I have already visited position IJ if I already visited this this position for example if I already visited this position for example then I will just continue I will not traverse that position again because I don't want to traverse water I just want to count the land the number of islands and I don't want to uh, traverse a position that I traversed before so if either case is true I just I'm gonna skip the next code the following code then I will do this I will have a helper method this is gonna do the first search I'm gonna call this method this method explore and I'm gonna pass the grid I J and visit it and this method will recurse from any point for instance if I'm at this point now if I'm at this point at this point now then this recursive method explore is going to explore from this point up to the left right and down in all directions and it will stop whenever it finds water or whenever it has visited a point before it will return back so whenever it finds a point it will mark the point using the visited to the array of booleans that way I will not count land twice I will make sure that I only count uh, every uh, land island that I find so after that I will just increment the count after I return from this method I have one more island so I increment the count and all this land has been marked as visited so I will not visit that land again so that's the main algorithm so now I will write my recursive method to do that first search so I'm gonna have private void explore it's gonna take in a two-dimensional array of characters the grid the position I position J and a two-dimensional array of booleans visited then the first condition I want to check here is if I'm out of bounds so I'm gonna say if I is less than zero or I is greater than or equal to the number of rows in the grid or J is less than zero or J is greater than or equal to the number of columns in the grid or if this is water the point of position IJ in the grid equals equals zero that means that this is just water or if I have already visited this point of position IJ then if either of these conditions is true I will just return because this is not a valid point that means okay if I'm out of bounds or if this is water or if this is already visited this is not valid just return okay otherwise if I get down here then I will just mark this position as visited visited sub i sub j gets a value of true and notice that initially when you do this when you initialize it to this to the array of, of booleans every value in the to the array is false so every time I visit a new point a position ij I will mark the point as visited by setting this value a position ij to true and after I mark it I can just recurse I can use that first search so I will traverse in all directions up left down and right so I'm gonna have explore the grid uh, going up that means I minus 1 J visited then explore the grid I want to go to down for example I plus 1 J visited then I want to go to the left so explore grid I J minus 1 visited and I also want to go to the right explore grid I J plus 1 visited alright so now that I used recursion or the first search I'm using a stack implicitly to explore the entire grid in 
all four directions from every point. And I mark every visitor point with a two-dimensional array of booleans. So I, I will run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit a solution. All right, this is working perfectly. One millisecond faster than 100% of Java online submissions for a number of islands. So this is using the first search. Another way to do this is using breadth first search. And I might make a video, if you want, on how to solve it with breadth first search. So if you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.